uh, some things have changed. Uh, it's it's a lot of changes, actually, a lot of changes. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but we got a new truck. We're in a new truck, it's dirty, super dirty. Got it set up real nice. We got Bailey, there's Captain Bailey, chilling, and we got the sleeper. We got a double bunk, everything's nice and large. I'll do a full truck tour if you guys want it later, but. Yeah, so new truck, um, you won't believe this, but uh, new company too, yep, new company, we got a new company we're working with, um, kind of one of those onward and upward type of deals, uh, I'm super excited, I've been here now for, I think I'm going on two weeks, so uh, no more flatbed, we, uh, we're doing dry van now, uh, I really enjoy it, the ch it's challenging, man, it's challenging, it's, uh, it's a lot different than uh, what I used to do as far as flatbed. Uh, a lot of tight docks and weird places to try to fit this truck into, but uh, it's been good so far. We're out here, we're doing our thing right now. Uh, we're in northern Wisconsin, and I had a load going to Memphis, but it canceled. So we're just chilling in the sleeper right now. Uh, just eat some lunch, cleaning the truck up a little bit, making sure my windows are clean, got out and did all my glass and all that stuff. And now we're just, we're chilling in the sleeper until something pops off. So, um, yeah. So welcome back guys. Welcome back. Uh, let's go for a ride. I'll, uh, I'll get back with you guys when we get back on the road. All right, guys, we got us a job. So we're heading that way. Now we're going to pick up in Clintonville, Wisconsin, and we're going to drive it, um, across, I guess, uh, it goes over to Michigan. So we are two miles from our pickup. Turn left at the traffic light. We're in a little town called Clintonville, Wisconsin. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Downtown Clintonville's a, kind of a neat little town, huh? That's pretty cool. God, I love Culver's. I wish the semi could fit in there. I haven't had Culver's in a long time. I love that place. Hopefully we don't end up in some crazy situation over here to load. One thing I've noticed with dry van is about every other one of them is, uh, is just absolute insanity. What you gotta do to get into where you gotta go. It's pretty crazy. I did uh, mail loads the other day. I was hauling for USPS and I was gonna film it, but they were real sensitive. Obviously it's the federal government about filming what you're in their property and stuff. But you guys should have seen some of the freaking docks that they had that you had to get into. It was like tighter than the tightest truck stops you've ever seen. It's crazy, man. Turn right. Turn right at the Ooh, I, I'll tell you what, the, the Jake brakes on a brand new truck ain't nothing to play around with. These, these Jake brakes are, they're like a dream come true. They throw you through the windshield. Going to Walker Forge, shipping and receiving. That way it says, that that way. <laughs> okay, well we'll just assume that they were meaning this way. Maybe they'll be decent and have a sign. Oh wow, look at those. That's. I hope that's where I'm going because those docks are nice. Shipping and receiving. So I think what we're gonna do, 
so we don't have to blindside anything is we'll just come in down here and we'll go check in. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. seven miles away from this delivery up in Michigan I don't know what the town is yet that we're in right at this moment but uh, weather's really crappy drove through Chicago last night came down around the horseshoe around the Great Lake and then back up through Michigan and uh, it was fun because it did this so we're gonna get here and get this baby unloaded and uh, apparently we got a load going to Texas after this one. I got, I haven't got the pre-plan yet, but he told me uh, we have a load heading south, and I'll take it. I'll go south anytime they want me to. All right. Couldn't have built this place in a better spot. Sarcastic cough. Griffin Street. It looks like right after that big building. Turn left on North Griffin Street, then take the first yeah, right. right there. Okay. Ooh, the snow plows are out. People are getting ready to make some money. Let's take a look at this. Okay, we don't want to mess this up, so just take a gander at the old map. Jost International. Okay, that's the corner. This should be it right here. says it's the next building in so So I'm gonna run in here right now and check in and I'll be right back with you guys. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, guys, that was uh, that was hairy. So the guy I got here, and the dude told me that uh, they don't accept deliveries on Fridays. He basically told me to buzz off. Well, it's Friday, guys. I would be stuck here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Oh, that was terrible. So called the broker and they agreed to uh, to take the load. So thank God. you imagine being stuck here in this mess for a whole weekend because some dude didn't feel like taking delivery today that would have been a terrible situation all right it's cold it's snowing my blood ain't made for this get in your chair baby Of course, as soon as I go, there ain't been a truck the whole time. As soon as I go to go, 27 trucks are trying to pull in. Come on, boy. Gotta get in this hole. something back there okay we gotta we gotta readjust here fellas there's something back there I'm gonna hit it probably should have hit that at a different angle but it's okay we gonna get it I'm gonna have to kind of blindside this in here Got her now. She can't run over that stupid ramp right there. Oh, that just scared the hell out of me. You don't like to hear smashing sounds when you're backing up a giant truck. Sure we're getting that hole straight because we don't want to wipe out the wall. Yeah, we need to cut it. We need to cut it over just a little bit. But we're in good shape. It's cool. Uh. Bailey, bed.
This is the fun part about going through a door like this. I can't see anything in there, so. Okay, let's go assess. I just wanna, I don't know if anything's in the way. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm in line with the dock. Actually, we about got her, about got her perfect, okay. We're just gonna cut that trailer over about six more inches and we got it. see a yellow paint line back there but I can't see if that's where my dock line is but what we can do is we're just gonna go bump it I think I got it straight again I can't see I can't tell Nah, doesn't look like I got it. I'm gonna have to scoot over, huh? Let's see if we can get that plate up. Yeah, yeah. I think they'll take it. Yeah, good enough for me. Unless he tells me to move it, I'm not moving it. Okay, just told dispatch what's going on. Uh, now, guys, it's almost noon. And what that means is it's burrito time. Now, I'm not no Alex Nino. I'm not gonna cook a gourmet meal, but uh, I really love these burritos. Okay, let's make a mess. most effective way to do this is to wrap your burrito like a burrito. Now we're gonna give it two minutes and away we go. Well, thanks for joining me for the trip, guys. I, uh, I'm gonna start making some more videos again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is kind of a short and sweet one. It's not gonna be nothing major, but uh, yeah, give me a comment, uh, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next one.